the 12th man will definitely be ready here in Seattle for this exciting matchup between the 49ers and the Seahawks. We're about to get this one underway before we start. How big will home field be in this one? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you this. When I think about home field, it's about crowd noise. So it gives your defense a couple chances during the game to make a play because the offense can't hear what they're doing. We'll see if it's a big advantage. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Shrugs off the first hit. Unstoppable. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. This kick... Turner, he's so good, you always have to pay attention to him. Even when he catches the football in the end zone, he will bring it out. He is dynamic. We see why he brings that football out, makes people miss, has great speed, and takes it all the way for the touchdown. ready for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. down coming up Frank Gore gets it here now makes the move to the right the 49ers get a first down good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards Receiver in the slot. First and ten. Makes the grab, and they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time, the quarterback right on target. Good throw. to the left. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man cover. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Gore's taking the handoff. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Second and ten. Challenging the and he's intercepted. Bringing the play to an end. Uh, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass.
the Seahawks come out in the pistol. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. Game of six. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Second and four as they go ground here. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense got to be happy with that. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and 10, they'll run it with him again. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. Second and 11, they'll run it. Here's the handoff. And that's a gain of nine. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. The Seattle Seahawks stepped up big time a year ago with Russell Wilson, of course, providing all that energy and leadership. And they were a playoff team that very nearly went all the way to the NFC title game. Yeah, this year they won't fool around starting off the year, Jim. They're going to let Russell Wilson be the major focus of this offense, and I think they should. He's been, he was dynamic last year running the football, but I tell people constantly, the one thing that he has on his side that he didn't get credit for, he has a great throwing arm. Can get it down the field with accuracy. We're going to see more of it this year. First and ten. Lynch is called on once again. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Screen pass. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. That's what you got to do as a receiver in the NFL now. You, how about this play? He goes up high, makes the catch, takes the big hit, and holds on. Third and six. The tackle was made. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A bound to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The throw to the left. Seattle is in for the score. Touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback. And we get a touchdown. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick under center. First down and ten. They feed the running back. 
Well, when you talk about edge players in the NFL, it means play on the edge, rush the quarterback, and stop the outside runs. How about that play by the defensive end? And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Gets to about the 36. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. That pass was hers. Second down following that incompletion. The defense gets the sack. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Pulls it in. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. That's a nice touchdown there, and you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? You hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. It's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. First down here. They hand it off to the running back. Heading right. Outside runs take time. And when you run outside, you expect the safety to get up there with that extra time and make the tackle. Good job that time by the safety. And when you talk about the explosiveness of the Seahawks and Russell Wilson, big story in the offseason, they went out and traded for Percy Harvin. I'll give John Schneider, the general manager, and Pete Carroll a lot of credit here. They like unique players who have special skill sets. They have one at quarterback. They have many on the defensive side. Now they have one at wide receiver. Look at him. He's tackled at the 28. Nothing like a receiver who can just put his head down and go after the football. That's what he did that time. Nice throw by the quarterback. Watch the receiver at the last second looks up and makes the catch. First down following the long play. It's the old in the round. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Could have been intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Failing to connect there, third down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Almost intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Harvins in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good piece of tackle. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down. You get it. I'll give you that. But I still think it was a bad decision. Hey, hey, hey. 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Running it like it's an option play. Runs it across. Touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Got the hand up into the sky, and that means fair catch. up in the slot. First and ten. Running away from the pressure. Pump. Ball is out. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Kaepernick from the gun. Vernon Davis hauls it in. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. On first down, throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. This receiver's not a very tough guy. Because he gets hit, it should have been a complete pass. When he gets hit, he just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Bolden's a receiver in the slot. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got a time to pass where the football's going where the receiver is going to catch it and do the perfect timing, hit that receiver, and that football comes Ohio, flying out. Ohio, nice job Ohio. that time. Incomplete pass. Third down on the way. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Got to make that play. the backfield he's looking to the right here on this throw makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field that's a first down catch the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion Kaepernick from the gun. Kaepernick able to find Mario Manningham. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too, the way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. to complete that one. So, second down here. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. It's third down coming up. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. That ball was in his hands. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. 
I don't know how he dropped it. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Here's the first snap after the big play. And the give to Frank Gore. Nice tackle. This is where on a defensive side, where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, Call something different so you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. Maybe second and nine. Touchdown! And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a 49ers official. Vernon Davis's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Spins out of the tackle. Off up the football. They've got him down there. Well, that's nothing but just, uh, that, that's just luck. That's all you can say. You're the return team. They fumble the football. It bounces out, and they get it back. they lucky there. The defense comes out of the dime. Looking to go deep. Oh, and almost picked up that time. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking for Percy Harvin. And it's incomplete. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The ball's deflected incomplete. Hard to complete a throw when you've got defensive linemen up there making sure that the pass never gets past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the quarterback's got to do a good job of sensing it and seeing it, but also the offensive linemen stay engaged with the defensive players. When you're engaged, it's hard for them to jump up and knock these throws down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Drop back, shotgun formation. Reed is there and has the pick. That'll stop the play right there. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. One more snap in halftime. Now first and ten. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. That kick is no good. No good. Awesome. Defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. The 49ers in field goal formation. Kick it back. He stacked up at that point. There is nothing more deflating to the offense and a football team than to watch your field goal kicker go out there and not even get it long enough or get
give it a chance to go through the uprights. Really big downer for the team. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The jumbo set on the field. First and ten. Quarterback drops back. Play action. Escaping the pressure to the 25. Number seven. Number seven. And here we have second down. No one's going to get him now. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30. Awesome job by the defense. That time they were really surprised by the play call. The receiver gets behind the defense, but the speed of the defensive back able to make up those yards and tackles him from behind. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Gore. Running to his right, it's up six. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. It's a second and five here. Frank Gore gets it here for a gain of three. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting to pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Gets it again here. Scores the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The 49ers for the extra point. And a flag comes out. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Offside. Defense. They'll decline the penalty, the penalty and let the play decline. stand. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Harvins in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. Almost intercepted that time. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. Harvins lined up in the slot. The wide receiver in motion. Second down, 10. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Sean Lynch is in the backfield, and that's going to be a three and out. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Double tight end formation. Working that left side. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. That was a terrible job that time by the offense. 
The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Uh, the play is there. The players just did a terrible job of executing. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Play action. Looking to the right side and throwing. A takeaway. He's brought to a halt. The linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice play. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. They'll go ground to the right. Tackled at the 18. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and seven to the ground here. Left side. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. The Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. The pass is intercepted. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they've got to be able to do everything. They've got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. They face first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Holden falls in that bullet throw. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. This play set up by the long gainer. Throws to the right. Bolden's going to pull in the bullet pass. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. First down here after the completion. And he's in for the touchdown. There's the signal from the far side. It is a touchdown. He broke the plane. He broke the plane from just a yard away. Extra point is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. They're setting up return. Spins out of the tackle. And Rice is lined up now as a slot receiver. It's Navarro Bowman who brings him down. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. He has the grab. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. He does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. The give breaks out of that one. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands and they got the tackle for the loss. With two hands, he has it. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. Sidney Rice holds in that bullet pass. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Runs out of bounds. 
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Looking across the middle, under fire on that throw. That leads us to second down. A tackle behind the line. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Down at 14. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. The 49ers come out in a dime package. Looks to his left. First, he's in for the touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. It's good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. One more snap, and another quarter is in the books. The defense gets a sack. Of course, when you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit, that's devastating to take that kind of hit. Second down coming up. The final quarter begins with this snap. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Bolden's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Gores handed the football, searching for space to the right. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. They give it to the running back. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. And Crabtree's a receiver in the slot. That ball is out. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. That's a timeout by the D. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good, the offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Hey, hey. 
Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10, screen. Ball is caught. Got a couple. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. Sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, this defense cover four, where four defensive backs are back there deep. It stops all the big passes down the field, but look at these crossing routes. Wide open, hit them, and let them catch it run, and you still get the big play. Tackles made. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Time becoming a factor in this game. First and ten. Another handoff. Running to the right. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. Lynch with an impressive run. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Here they come back to the line after the 50-yard gainer on the previous play. First and goal. Going to take off with it. Picks up about eight. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. He takes it across. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. Challenging, but the back to touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. For a touchback. to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. First and 10. Trying to work that left side. It's intercepted! That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten, handoff. Left side. Two minutes to go in the second half. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play.
on second and three. He'll fire it out to the left. Russell Wilson going to take it the distance. What an effort. Touchdown. Even on short passes, accuracy is a big, big deal. When you put it on them right in stride, look what happens. They catch them in stride. They don't slow down, of course, and good things happen. Nice touchdown run. Their catch signal. They'll take it at the 20. And Manningham's in the slot. First and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Knocked away. Incomplete. Good job by the corner that time. Knocking the football down on the throw down the field by the quarterback. That will go down as a pass defense by him. Good job. Second down after the incompletion. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, it's just hard to tell if this is a major injury or not, but if it is, this guy, listen, when they say the word franchise player, they're talking about him. So if they lose him, it is going to really cripple this football team. First down and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. The 49ers now move the chain. When you can throw an out route like that, that shows you the strength of the quarterback's arm. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Oh, should have had it. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing, run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Bolden's lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Going for the home run. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Caught. Why not take one of the best players on your football team, the wide receiver, and throw him some screen passes? It makes sense. Good job. Nice yards picked up. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. The throw to the left. That's an interception. In on the stop. Good job. That's it.